haven't been in LA for three years now. Yes, thank you. Thank you, because honestly, I didn't think I was going to make it. You know what I mean? Because originally I'm from North Carolina, and I was like, I'm going to have to go back to a southern way of life. You know, like 10 minute drives. Maybe living in multiple rooms. That'd be really cool. And I got a little worried when I first drove into LA for the very first time, I saw this billboard and I screamed. I was like, oh my God, my dad was right. Everything here is in Spanish. <laughs> the billboard read, La Fitness. <laughs> so we're very lucky I made it. <laughs> um, let's just go ahead and get this on out here. Uh, who thinks I'm a lesbian? <laughs> well, I'm not. All right. A lot of people ask me, "Well, why?" Do I need... Does it need explaining? Uh, but it's okay. You know what? I get confused as a lesbian a lot. It does not bother me. What bothers me is that men that are in touch with their feminine side but they're straight, they have a term, right? They're metrosexual. <laughs> Well, there's no term for me. It's nothing. That's why I want to coin the term brash. Yeah, brash. Because I'm a butch, rock, alternative, straight hipster. And if you look it up, the first synonym of brash is cocksure. And I'm sure I like cocks. <laughs> It works. <laughs> so I'm finding you guys lately, I don't have a lot to add to conversations, so I end up doing a lot of head nodding, you know, just to... <laughs> oh yeah, the environment. <laughs> oh, the economy. Do not get me started. <laughs> oh yeah, Putin. <laughs> oh, Putin. <laughs> Do a lot of that. So I was like, I'm gonna start reading so I can have stuff to add to conversations. And I read this book that they did a th an experiment on three chickens. Each chicken had a button. First chicken, every time you hit the button, you got a treat. Second chicken, you got one randomly. First 12th, and whatever. Last one never got a treat. What they found was that second chicken would never stop pecking that button because he knew there was a chance. All right? So I'm in conversation with these comics. Somebody brought up a quote from Joan Rivers. So I had asked her, how many of your comedy friends that you came up with made it? And she said, all of them that stuck with it. And I was like, I got something to fucking add. <laughs> I have something that's mind blowing, something philosophical. They have no idea what's coming, right? But I'm just so excited that I couldn't articulate it. And I just blurted out, well, you know, chickens be packing. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't get it either. <laughs> but that shit was deep. <laughs> was deep. Uh, I'm white trash, you guys. Thank you. I'm from a long lineage of white trash. Um, it's not something I chose, it chose me. Um, there's a lot of rumors out there about us though, like we kiss our cousins and shit like that. And I want you guys to know that I didn't fucking know he was my cousin. <laughs> Now, when we slept together in high school, we knew. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody think that their phones make it up crazy? Yeah. Thank you. I'd like to know I'm not alone in this one. Um, well, for me, I work late nights. I work at a comedy club, and I got off work one night, and I stopped at 7-Eleven for my after-work Slurpee, as you do. <laughs> Right, and I pulled up and I saw that there was this crazy guy inside and I knew he was crazy because he looked fucking crazy. <laughs> but I assessed the situation, I was like, there's other people inside, we're cool. So I go in, I start to make my Slurpee. The crazy guy came up next to me and started making a fountain drink. And I was like, okay. But have you guys ever had phantom phone syndrome? Like where you feel like your phone's in your pocket? Yeah. You swear it's in your pocket, it is not in your pocket. But when I went to reach for it, it wasn't there. I just automatically accused this guy. Aww. Yep. And I was like, what the fuck, man? And at that moment, I realized, you idiot, it's in the car. I'm like, that guy didn't deserve that. He had no idea. 
And I thought, you know, I, I, can't, I can't leave it like this. It's just wrong. So I thought to myself, you know what? He doesn't know if I'm crazy too. <laughs> he don't know. <laughs> so I walked over to the frozen chicken sandwiches and I pulled one off the shelf. I pulled it really close to my face. And I was just like, fuck you! Yeah! <laughs> and then I left. <laughs> and you know what? You have to do this. Sometimes you have to fight crazy with crazy, you guys. Because I don't know about you, but I feel like you can't fight crazy with facts. So if you can't beat them, I can join them. Right? I'm in Sacramento. This homeless guy's talking to me. At first, it's the normal stuff. He asked me, do you have any change? And I said, no. He looked at me and said, that's a really nice jacket that you have. And I said, thank you. He said, is it bulletproof? <laughs> so I looked at him and said, you know what, man, that's a really nice jacket that you have. Is it rainproof? <laughs> yeah, he walked away. <laughs> you guys, I'm just going to 